Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to put together and do a review on the Shark Stratus vacuum cleaner. So this has duo clean power fins and it also has odor neutralizing technology cartridges. So I just unboxed everything. I'm going to show you how to put it together. It's very simple. Okay, so in the box came this odor neutralizing cartridge. We're going to open it up. We've got to put it in the brush head first. So open it up and here's what it looks like. So it's got this little lever you lift up. Now that smells really good. So over here, you're gonna line up these green arrows, put it in, and then rotate it to the lock position. So you have different levels of smell that'll come out of the machine. Again, that smells really good. That's a lot, so that's maximum. And you got like a medium, then a low. And if you line up that, that's how you take it out. So again, there's what it looks like. Put it in, rotate. I'm gonna try it all the way on the maximum. Okay, so here's what the dual power fins look like. This is like a really soft, that's kind of like a hard plastic, but then you've got these. So we got some big wheels with some rubber on them. Looks like this comes off even. So if we get a clog, we can unclog it from there. So we've got a release button for this front roller. You just press that and this whole front roller will come out. Very nice. Line it up, press it in, and there you go. Okay, so now get the lift away. There's these little rails it's gonna slide onto. And then make sure it clicks. And then up here, this is the release for the lift away. You press that button, and then it slides off. Okay, so next find the wand like this, and it's gonna slide in here till it clicks. Okay, so next you're gonna plug this in. This part's gonna go right here and there's an electrical connection right there. Make sure it snaps and the arrows are lined up. Then next you're gonna take the other end of this. Again, there's an electrical connection down in there. It's gonna snap. Okay, so next we're gonna wind the cord up here to here. Okay, so it does have onboard tool storage. Again, put the smaller one underneath the cord and the taller one over here, it also has this. Okay, so this is the release button to release the canister that holds all the dirt. Press this, then the canister comes up. Then you're gonna come over here, this is the release button when you wanna dump everything out of there into the trash can. So it's kind of on the back, there's this paddle, push down and everything will come out. Okay, so underneath there, we do have this foam filter and then this kind of like other filter. We can wash, these will get dirty. You can wash them out with soap and water and then rinse them really good and then let them air dry. There's the motor, then you're gonna put them back. Okay, so there is a HEPA, HEPA filter underneath here, but you gotta kind of grab this little handle and then it pops open. There's the HEPA filter, there's this release right here. There's what it looks like. So you will have to just, you can blow this off sometimes, but you will have to replace this. Put the big notch in first, put it in until it snaps. Now to put this back on, there's this little notch up here. Put that in and then it should snap back here. Okay, so again, here's the, the, the collector. You're gonna take this over to the trash can, push that lever. It's kind of spring loaded, it kind of pushes down. We also got these little uh, buttons up here. Push these and you can do some more cleaning. So say there, sometimes you will get some kind of hair around this kind of cone here. You can go in here and kind of blow it all off, clean it up really well. When you're done, put it into snaps. So it does say to change that odor cartridge every six months. Okay, so putting this back on can be a little tricky. There's this, make sure the cord doesn't get in the way here. So it's got these two little tabs, put those in first. And then you're just gonna kind of rotate it and it should snap. Now remember, I keep wanting to grab this. This is for the lift away. This is to release the dust collector right here. Again, this releases that dust collector bin. This is for the whole power unit to lift away. Okay, so when you're ready to plug it in, rotate this down. Then you can take the whole cord off, off, off at once. Okay, so let's go over how it's gonna, you're gonna operate it. Again, there's a foot button down there. You're gonna put your foot there to break it over center. Now we've got a power button up here. We're gonna press the power button. Then we can go. Okay, so you can go hardwood floor, carpet, low pile, or thick carpet by 
pushing this switch and there's a light that lights up. Now, if you turn the vacuum cleaner on with it in the upright position, the, the brush head's not gonna come on until you kick it over center. Okay, so let me explain hardwood floor to you. Both brush heads are turning, but they're turning at a slower rate. Okay, there's carpet, low pile. They speed up a little bit more. And with thick carpet, they speed up even more. Okay, so there's two things happening. Typically on um, vacuum cleaners, you have that little vent that you can kind of control. On this one, you can't control it, but the switch controls it. So when I've got it all the way down for hardwood floor, it's got that vent closed off, so air's not being sucked in. But as I go to thick carpet, more air is drawn into this little vent area here. And then again, if I want to release the wand, I just press this button right here, and this comes off. I can put my attachments on it. I can come over here, turn it on, vacuum something up, and turn it off right from my hand. Let's go over the lift away. I can lift this whole power assembly, pressing this button, and it comes off. I still have to remove the wand, and I can remove the wand here or down there. Okay, so I left the big wand attached, and I've got just a little handheld one attached. And now I can take this with me. I can do stairs. I can go do the top of the bed or something. I can turn it on right from here, and then turn it off. When you're ready to put it back, I found it's better to put the wand up at the top, and then we're going to line up this down here. So you got to kind of start right here, but then it'll click into place. Now, if I want to release the big wand, I can press this button, and now that whole big wand comes off. I can put an attachment on the end there, and I can go into a really far place. Again, turn it on and off, right there. When I'm ready to put it back, just kind of line things up and put it on until it snaps. Okay, so I've got quite a bit of dog hair and a lot of really fine dirt on the carpet. We're again, we're gonna kick it over, turn it on. I've got it on thick carpet, turn it on. It's very easy to re to move about the carpet. I think it turns really easy. It's kind of being self-propelled just a little bit. It feels very lightweight. Feels like it's gliding very nice. And it did a good job picking up all that stuff. So we can see it picked up a lot of that dirt and debris and the carpet looks really clean. Let's go try hardwood floors. Okay, so I'm gonna move the switch up here at the handle to hardwood floor. Now I've got uh, popcorn, dog hair, and some flour and a lot of little dirt on this floor. Kick it over center, turn it on. It glides really easy. It didn't scatter the popcorn. Everything is staying right where it's supposed to be. It turns real easy. It didn't scatter the dust. That's what I really like about it. So as you can see, this picked up a lot of, you know, it picked up all the dirt debris. It didn't scatter it. The, the roller heads didn't uh, kind of move it all around. It stayed right where it was and it brought it into the vacuum cleaner. Now I had quite a bit of dog hair and it didn't get wrapped around there or nothing. Everything looks really nice. Okay, so let's go empty this. Again, you're gonna press this button right there. Then you're gonna take this over to the trash can. Okay, so I'm gonna empty it into this um, cardboard box so you can see. But again, you're simply just gonna press this lever and then everything's gonna come out. So it picked up the dog hair, it picked up the really fine uh, particles and all the popcorn. 
So let's take a look up here at the top. Again, there are some more fine particles. You don't have to clean this every time, but once in a while you will have to clean this area too. Okay, so let's go over the odor neutralizer. One thing, I was expecting this to be to, to smell like really fresh air. Now, it, it didn't smell bad, but it didn't have an overpower odor either, like a real fresh scent. Because when you take this out, it really smells good. There's what it looks like. When you smell this, like when you put your nose right up here and smell it, it smells really good and it's kind of strong. I didn't notice a really strong uh, scent from this when I was vacuuming, but I also didn't notice like the typical like dog smell when you're vacuuming up a lot of dog hair. Sometimes you'll get kind of that dog smell. I didn't smell that at all. So it, it mainly fe uh, smells like an odor neutralizer. Like it's, it's not putting in a scent, even though this kind of smells really good. There's not a scent in the air. So again, put this like that, line that up and I can control how much odor it does. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate this. They keep showing this picture a lot, how you can reach underneath a, a couch with it. Let's see if you can do that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the, the lift, the power unit off, leave everything attached, take the power unit off. Now it's gonna have, and then kick this over center. Now I can, so I can do that. It's a little tricky because you gotta kinda hold the power unit, but that is an option. And when you're done, take the power unit and click it back on. Okay, so I really like this vacuum cleaner. I like that the controls are on the handle so that when I disconnect the handle and I'm over here cleaning something, I can turn it on and off from the handle and control if I'm on hardwood floors or really thick carpet. I think the odor neutralizing do, does a great job. I think these this du, dual power fins does a really good job of drawing the debris in so that it can be sucked up. It's got a really large container to hold a lot of debris. It felt really lightweight in my hand when it was using it, when I was using it and turning it also really felt really nice. So I really recommend this vacuum cleaner. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.